Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service out of San Diego. Got an update for you. Um, here it is Thursday, January 18th. Still expecting precipitation from two different storm systems moving across Southern California. One Saturday, Saturday night, and another one on Monday. Uh, do expect some wet snow uh, Saturday night and early Sunday if traveling in the mountain areas. And overall, a really wet commute Monday as well. Rain uh, should develop as early as Saturday morning, light rain, uh, with most of the rain for storm number one being Saturday night. Here's a summary that highlights that. Uh, we're dealing with mild weather right now, uh, a break between the storm and out ahead of the storm number one. That storm comes in Saturday. There could be some light rain, certainly Saturday morning in northern areas like LA, Inland Empire. Uh, the snow level uh, will be at its lowest point with storm number one as well, especially Saturday night. So keep that in mind with some snow mixing or changing to all snow in the mountain community level around 6,000 feet. We could see some heavy rain too in an isolated thunderstorm Saturday night anywhere. Uh, much of the precipitation ends. So Sunday looks good overall. Don't see much precipitation as all uh, just a couple showers lingering uh, on Sunday morning. So uh, storm number two takes a similar path across the Pacific, brings in moisture. It is a milder storm, so it has less tap to cold air. Um, and it has a little better threat for thunderstorms, so it's unstable and heavy rainfall rates. So the greatest threat for the rain uh, is Monday. Uh, if there's going to be any threat for flooding, it's Monday for urban areas uh, and small streams. Now for the rest of the month, um, looks like we don't get any more rain. So things really dry out after Monday. Uh, so this is kind of a one-two punch, uh, large deficits of rain precipitation. So we need this for sure. Speaking of those deficits, here they are here. We're about 25 to 50% of average for this water year. Uh, the dark red areas show that for Southern Nevada, Arizona, and of course, Southern California. So we're well behind, uh, and this rainfall coming in is perfect timing, much needed rain. Snowpack is also well below, even though we've made some improvement recently, uh, especially the southern Sierra Nevada, which is opposite of this time last year. Uh, that area has the least amount of snow, but statewide, half full or 50% of our snowpack is present. And the reason being is the jet stream has been split over us with a lot of the cold air going to the north, uh, a very active subtropical jet stream moving into the southern part of the United States, um, and a very powerful persistent jet stream over the central Pacific, which is a reflection of the warm El Nino conditions along the equator. Uh, but we've been unable to move that L and that purple area. Purple means unusually cold and stormy. Red means unusually warm and mild and not stormy. But between that is the jet stream. We've been unable to shift that all the way to the west coast. Uh, so that's why we're only getting pieces of these storms. Um, but a very powerful active Pacific jet stream has been observed and continues. Now the El Nino I mentioned is down near the equator. It's well established and really warm conditions and likely influencing that jet stream uh, over the central Pacific, but why it's not shifting east yet, uh, it's hard to say. Uh, we still got February and part of March, which are typically on average wet months in California. Some locations, the wettest month. Now, uh, initially we have an upper level ridge of high pressure, so that's a dome of warm air. That's ahead of the storm. Every storm has that ahead of them. Uh, so we're in that transition right now. Uh, as we await the incoming storm for Saturday. That storm for Saturday will take a dive into central and southern California along that red line. Now the jet stream is split, so we don't get a lot of cold air with this storm, but this is a colder storm compared to what we're gonna deal with on Monday. So the main threat for impactful snow looks to be uh, Saturday afternoon and Saturday night with storm number one. Now, when we get into Sunday, um, we're behind storm number one, and then we wait for storm number two, which is Monday. So in other words, Sunday is a break in precipitation because we're on the backside of that storm. 
you can see the split flow uh, very clear here uh, going across the southern states. Uh, but notice what happens when it gets on Monday to the east coast. You see a lot more convergence of that jet stream again. Um, and that is potential for strong storms and very wet conditions coming up for the south and eastern United States. Now for us, uh, a very broad atmospheric river Saturday night. Uh, we just get clipped by part of this. So this is not a not a significant atmospheric river, but it is a significant jet stream moving across Southern California Saturday night. Now for Monday, we do a little bit better with atmospheric river or transport of that moisture from west to east. It's still very broad, so it's not focused, um, but you see part of that moves right into San Diego County. So the threat for heavier rain uh, with storm one is in our northern areas like Santa Barbara into Orange County. The threat for the heaviest rain on Monday, uh, even though everyone will get rain, the threat for heaviest looks like San Diego County because of this. Now here's the big numbers. Statewide, really beneficial rain. Almost everyone along the coast, interior valleys and mountains, one to two inches, with locally a little bit more, especially in our Northern California mountains. Uh, but you can see a lot of yellow here. So a lot of places uh, over an inch of rain with the two storms. Here's the numbers for Southern California. Take a look at your area, but it's showing basically one to one and a half inches of rain. Some places as much as two inches of rain. Um, and we see some concentration. We see some concentration over Santa Barbara Ventura, and that moves into the San Bernardino and San Gabriel Mountains and the Santa Ana Mountains. And then we see another concentrated area over San Diego County where a lot of that's gonna occur on Monday. So on Monday, we have the greatest threat for any urban, small stream, and also nuisance type of flooding. So if you have plans on Monday, especially travel plans for work or, or play, keep that in mind, some heavy rainfall expected, uh, not just Saturday night, but especially on Monday. River levels will respond, um, though we're not expecting significant or even notable river flooding. Um, but some of the very low-lying areas, such as the San Diego River, uh, if that rain materializes on Monday, could get up to um, uh, where you see some of the initial flooding impacts. Snow. I did mention snow mainly for storm number one. So if you're traveling this weekend, uh, Saturday morning looks good for most areas, but the snow is going to start uh, on Saturday during the day as early as, as the morning hours. Uh, some light stuff, but the heavier snow would be Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. That's where we could pick up a few inches of slushy snow down around 6,000 feet. And of course, more than that above. Uh, Onyx Peak on Highway 38 goes up to 8,400 feet, for example, towards Big Bear. The cold air is shown here. The cold air is going to be cold enough to bring our snow levels uh, and change a lot of the snow down to about 6,000 feet to all snow. Uh, now down to 5,500 feet, it'll be a mix of rain and snow. Above 6,000 feet should be almost all snow with storm number one, Saturday night. Here's a cross section of what I referred to, Highway 38 going up to Big Bear City. Now there's two main ways you can get up there. You can take the 330 uh, into the 18 or you can take the 18 itself. Uh, some people take Onyx Peak, which is Highway 38, either coming home or going up there. Highway 38 will be the most impacted because it has uh, the largest area uh, that would be in the snow level as shown here for Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Now, uh, the rest of January, does this storm mean that we're going to uh, get into an active weather pattern? It looks like we're not. Uh, Upper level ridge of high pressure, so what's that? That's a, a dome of warm air. In the summer, that would be really hot temperatures, but we're not summer with low sun angle and short days. This will be mild days and very stable back to stagnant air, um, unfortunately, uh, for the end of January. Now, the jet stream's a key player in how we get storms. Uh, so the jet stream's in a good position for this weekend and Monday. Uh, it's going west to east, it's very consolidated, extended, and it's it's not split until it gets more inland. So we get almost a direct hit um, along the coast with the jet stream on Monday. Now, 
after Monday and the end of January, unfortunately, it retreats further west in the Pacific uh, and reloads. So that area has been uh, just a genesis of big storms. Um, and that looks like that's going to happen again at the end of January. We'll be in the splits uh, and dry conditions end of January. So we'll have to wait to see what February brings us. There are some indications that February could be wet if we can get some of this jet stream to, again, translate to the east and not just sit out there. The official outlook is dry below normal uh, for the last week of January with potential really wet conditions in that subtropical jet stream for the deep south from Texas all the way to um, Atlanta and even up parts of the east coast and a return to wet uh, and continued wet in the Pacific Northwest. Now mild conditions in the west coast but really mild conditions potentially end of January. Uh, opposite of what we've looked at recently with Arctic air. So very uh, moist, mild conditions potentially to end January for much of the United States with above average temperatures expected. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Be safe. Check the latest forecast, especially if you're traveling uh, with two storms coming in. One Saturday, Saturday night and another one on Monday.